Type 1. To begin with, determining the method of reasoning deployed in the argument. The question asks you to determine the method of reasoning deployed in the argument. This is what the question typically looks like. Let's take a GMAT-like example now. Here is a reasoning and the question stem. Remember, the methodology for solving these questions is what you have been taught in all the other sessions. Read the question stem first. That's step one. Step two is to read the passage, and step three is to have a broad expectation from the correct answer choice. So let's do that. The author develops the argument in this passage by doing what? See, the author talks about Japanese text here, and then this is the key word here, similarly. And then the third part is the conclusion, thus something. So on the basis of Japanese texts, something has been concluded about the Greek texts. So how has the author developed his argument? He has done so by showing similarity with something else. So the buzzword or buzz phrase that we require in the correct answer choice is something on the lines of showing similarity or drawing analogy. Here is the correct answer choice. We will be studying some good 17 types of reasoning in this session. So in interest of brevity, I will be only discussing the correct answer choices. Look at this correct answer choice here. Drawing analogy is what we were looking for. This is the key phrase here. Drawing analogy with a known phenomenon, which is Japanese text, to draw a conclusion about an unknown phenomenon, which is the Greek text. This is the correct answer choice. Let's look at the other question type within determining the method of reasoning deployed. This is when a dialogue is given to you, and the question is on the lines that the second person responds to the first person by doing which of the following. Let's take a GMAT-like example. Here is an example. First person said something, then second person responded with something, and this is the question stem. Step one would be to read the question stem. Step two would be to read the dialogue here. And step three would be to have a broad expectation from the correct answer choice. Now, the first person talks about why he is considering pursuing a different specialization, and then he talks about the reasons. The second person starts by disagreeing with the first person. This is the conclusion of the second person, and then the second person talks about the reasons for her claim. So how is the second person responding? The second person is responding by disagreeing with the first person, and then giving reasons for her claim. Let's look at the correct answer choice now. We said something like disagreeing. Here we have concluding against, and yes, the person starts by concluding against David's plan and building an argument in favor of her conclusion. Yes, from here to here, this person has developed an argument in favor of her conclusion that pursuing such and such specialization is not a wise decision. This answer choice makes sense. This is the correct answer choice. This was the concept, friends. GMAT shots are deliberately kept brief. For an elaborate explanation, please watch the Stage 1 conceptual videos in our program. Thanks for watching.